Sup you guys, what is up, and welcome back to another video. Today's video, I'm going to try something. I'm going to try something that, yeah, I've wanted to do for a while. Um, there's certain, certain times, certain moments in my life, being 29 years of age, uh, that have taught me something. You know, these are life's lessons, right? We all have life's lessons. Some of, the, some of us, you know, get taught them later in life. Uh, some of us never get taught particular life lessons. But there is one life lesson or one, one virtue uh, that I was taught early on, uh, rudely, <laughs> actually. Uh, well, not rudely. I, I was the rude one, but I didn't know it at the time. Or maybe I did. Who knows? Anyways, guys, today we're talking about empathy. Today I'm going to talk about the moment I... The moment I was first made aware of, well, not empathy, but my lack of empathy. My lack of empathy. Basically, guys, at, at 12 years of age, I was a determined son of a bitch who wanted to win at all costs, and I would leave you in my dust if you could not help me with that. I would make fun of people for not being physically as able as myself. I would literally make fun of them. I would make fun of people for being dumb. I would make fun of people for looking silly. And then wonder why I didn't have a whole heap of friends. Now there's one moment that this all came to a head and I will never ever forget it. I've told this story many many times and this is the story of how I was acutely made aware of, 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 of the type of person I, I was coming across as yeah, unbeknownst to me, you know, this really hurt at the time, but it was a massive lesson. So what happened was it was year eight, we were playing an a inter, inter, inter class cricket tournament, and we were playing a mini version of, of cricket. This is, you know, class cricket. Um, I think we had a maybe every Friday afternoon for a month, we'd play the games or something, and then at the end of the, the tournament, we'd have a winner, etc. So at the end of the day, at the end of the day, guys, my attitude, unbeknownst to me, was absolutely terrible throughout that tournament. If someone let our team down, I would let them know about it. I'd either let them know about it or, in fact, you know what, thinking back now, I actually don't know what I did. I don't know what I did. I'd probably yell at them saying, what was that, or something. I mean, now, thinking back, I, I couldn't even... I, you wouldn't see me dead saying that, you know what I mean? I've, I've, I've got extreme empathy for people and I'd, I'd rather say nothing. If you're not going to say anything nice, don't say anything at all. And that's another lesson I probably learned from this. So anyways guys, the most, influent, the most influential teacher of my entire life was my teacher in that class, Mrs. Culpin. Anne Culpin, an absolute legend. An absolute legend as far as teachers, Christchurch teachers go. She was a huge influence on me. She was the one that let me know, in a funny kind of way, she was the one that actually let me know to my face what all these other people actually thought of me behind my back. And the way that she did that, guys, was peer reviews. Okay, now this is how I was told about my attitude. After the cricket tournament had finished, uh, the class was each given a piece of paper. Now this was a survey. On the survey were certain questions about other players throughout the tournament. So there were questions on who was the best player physically, as far as their ability goes. And you know what? My name was actually near the top of that list. But then they switched it around, you see. Mrs. Culpin, she was a smart teacher. And there was also a question that, that asked, okay, who was the worst player not physically but attitude wise so I think the question must have said who had the worst attitude in the tournament and by a country mile literally a landslide I don't think anyone even mentioned anyone else's name it was me me unfortunately and you can imagine how gutted I felt when Mrs. Culpin brought me into the room by myself after class and presented me with the findings of the survey and she said you know you've got two choices Jacob I know she 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 was such an influential influential teacher because she she 
knew my ability she knew my sporting ability and she believed in me and um, but but what she tried to teach me during that year was the fact that it doesn't matter who's the best if no one likes you it really doesn't matter you know it, it if it's 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 well and good it's all well and good wanting to be the best but you don't have to push it on everyone else and the fact is is that not everyone is going to have your abilities and that's a fact of life but at that point guys you know I mean I'd played I'd played six or seven years of rugby I'd been good in that team I'd done athletics I'd played basketball uh, you know I'd done everything triathlon wanting to be the best be the best and then we played this cricket tournament and I wanted to be the best but it's within a class and you can't you can't be like that all the time you can't there's certain times and places for that kind of attitude and, and to be honest that kind of attitude as bad as it was as bad as it must have been yeah, I can I can remember yelling once but I can't remember anything else specifically that I did but I'll definitely always remember that moment she brought me in the class and she presented me with these findings and uh, well guys that was the day that I was taught the lesson the life lesson of empathy you know realizing that we're not all like you we don't all think like you realizing that not everyone thinks like you Jacob you're not the bees knees you might think you are and you might be physically but if you don't have the positive attitude to match and the attitude to, to actually help people try and bring them up to your level rather than take them down the attitude that I have now that I'm confident to say I do have the attitude now if it wasn't for that moment that may never have happened guys so I gotta say that Mrs. Culpin, Mrs. Ann Culpin, I actually looked you up on Facebook the other day, but I couldn't find you. Man, if you ever hear this, thank you so much. I know you're in Christchurch somewhere. You're probably just down the road. Um, it feels surreal being back here in Christchurch. I actually drove past that school, uh, Christchurch South, the other day, and, and that's the catalyst for this video, for making this video today. So, uh, yeah, what can I say? You know, that, that's, a, that's a moment in time, that's a story that I've wanted to share on my YouTube channel for a long time, but I didn't know... I don't know the context and I don't know what I actually wanted to teach but I guess I guess all I want to say is that if you do have that attitude that that win if you do have that attitude that win or die attitude there's a time and a place that's all I'm gonna say because you don't want your classmates hating you <laughs> it's not nice sucks bro sucks still took me a few years from that point to turn my attitude around completely but I got there in the end and you can too so with all that being said guys have a fantastic day that was the first of three stories I'm telling today and I hope you enjoyed peace out so I'll take that, ask them now what we'll saves that I've been going to the top and I got what they not So I know that they hate that, uh, but I'm on now